It's morning of Easter weekend. And at this time of year, we think about baby animals being born. And if you aren't already following the Minnesota Zoo on Facebook, I suggest you do that because there are baby farm animals that are going to be born in the next few days. And they're doing a virtual tour of the baby farm animals. So check out the Minnesota Zoo on Facebook and you can see all the baby farm animals even though we can't go there and see them. That's one thing that my grandson Hollis and I like doing is going to the zoo. So this is the one way we can do it. And because it is Easter weekend, I'm going to read Clifford's Happy Easter. Hi, I'm Emily Elizabeth and I love spring. So does my dog Clifford. The best part of springtime is Easter. Last spring, mom and dad brought us a lot of eggs to color for the big Easter egg hunt. On the day before Easter, I dyed the eggs. Clifford wanted to help. Poor Clifford, he wasn't very good at painting eggs. So Clifford helped by watching me decorate the eggs. He's a good watcher. <clears throat> when I went to bed that night, I fell asleep dreaming about Easter eggs. It was a beautiful dream. Clifford was stirring a giant tub of dye while I tossed in the eggs. That is a big tub of dye. But then Clifford lost his balance. He tumbled into the tub of dye. Something surprising began to happen. Oops. Sorry, my fingers were in the way. Suddenly, Clifford was bright green. It was just like St. Patrick's Day. Then he turned sunshine yellow. This was becoming a very strange dream. I grabbed a brush and began to dab at purple polka dots. Clifford looked good in polka dots. But... They didn't last long. The purple dots turned into squares and Clifford looked like a giant checkerboard. I didn't like that. I threw on some more dye. Clifford tar started to change colors again. Now he was red, white, and blue. I always used to wonder if I dreamed in color. Now I know. This was too much. I tried to scrub the dye off Clifford. I was getting frantic. Then I woke up. It was Easter morning and the sun was shining. I ran out to see Clifford. Thank goodness he looked just the same as always. Good old Clifford. We joined my friends and set off on an Easter egg hunt. We looked high and we looked low. Clifford looked in places I would not have thought of. No hiding place was missed. Sometimes Clifford went a little too far. His hard work helped. We ended up with heaps of eggs.
which we shared with our friends. After all, friends are what make Easter a happy day. I hope you have a happy day. I'm glad you joined Oma Mary for story time today.